Hi, I'm Steve Dale for the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine. Sylvain Gadawa has a big dog with an even bigger story. This is an amazing story. It is. Tell, tell me about Sam, a Great Dane, obviously, still a young Great Dane. Tell me, tell me what happened. Well, she's 18 months young now. Uh, we got her when she was two months, and I was saying before, you know, uh, like every, most Great Danes anyway, at two months she weighed 10 pounds, and she would gain about 20 pounds a month the first three, four months. It's really rapid growth. Not unusual for a Great Dane. Not Dane. unusual at all for Great Danes. I had a Great Dane before. I had already experienced that along with uh, rapid bone growth comes the pain that goes along with it. And so the negative signs that we had seen around her seventh, eighth month, we thought were due to the rapid bone growth. Uh, but the signs got a lot worse. And in fact, it came to a point where she could, well, she had trouble walking. So she could hardly go up even a two flight of stair, stairway. The biggest sign was her head leaning down forward, almost touching the ground, not being able to lift it back up. And then the last and most the lethal, the worst sign that was, was when she would lay down, she'd always try to find a position where she's straight. And if she would turn and then try and get back straight, she'd let out a big cry. And we didn't know at that time what it was. We found out afterwards when we met up with the um, University of Montreal Hospital, Dr. Andrea Finnan, that she had discos blondinitis. But we didn't know that. We thought she had Wilder syndrome. We were gonna put her to sleep before. You literally were gonna put this dog down. Well, the first diagnosis that wasn't made from the university, but by our local veterinarian, was that she had Wilder syndrome. Which is? Fatal, if you will, because the, the the operation is not always a success if there is an operation done in her neck, but it's a, it's a, it's a syndrome where she uh, loses balance, can't lift up her head. We had went on the inter internet and looked up Wilder syndrome and we were seeing that she was experiencing pretty much every uh, uh, symptom that they were seeing on the internet. But the hardest part was, you know, her crying at night. I would actually fall asleep with Sam uh, on several occasions just trying to comfort her, mm. you know, in her misery during the night. It, it was awful, it was heart-wrenching, and because we thought there was no way out, plus the pain, I did indeed decide to put her to sleep. But since Sam is right here now, yeah. you must have changed your mind. I what, did. What happened? That day, we had told the kids before going to school that Sam would be going to Puppy Heaven because it was decided, it was sure that we had already taken the appointment. It was for three o'clock in the afternoon. That last day, there was actually some of my customers at my restaurant taking pictures of Sam and you know, it was, it was a sad, sad day. I'm smiling now, I wasn't then. Anyway, so one, one hour before putting her to sleep, we were together at my yeah. house. She picked up a toy, a, a braided bone toy. Yes. For the first time in over a month, lifted up her head and she poked it at me like she wanted to play, like she used to do. So right there and then I knew I wasn't gonna put her to sleep. I, I went from sad to ecstatically happy. You saw as it happened a veterinary specialist, a veterinary neurologist. That's right. Who explained what this disease really is, right. which was. She excluded Wilder syndrome and after a series of tests diagnosed Sam with discosplondinitis which is basically an infection that eats the cushions between the vertebrae. And Sam's case was really advanced, like really advanced. She had told me, she can't guarantee, but this, it is curable. But in her position, the bones would have to fuse together where there was no more cushion. Can I ask you a couple questions? You <laughs> built a 16-foot ramp yes. for your dog. Right. Uh, and also spent all this time and, and right. money. And now, and now Sam is, is doing well, obviously. She's, she's doing fine. Yes. Worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. How old are your kids? Five and nine. What do you think the lesson that they learned by you not giving up and by Sam not giving up? Well, they, they certainly learned, they, I guess my older, my daughter, nine, knows enough. She, she learned, obviously, not to give up. But I think involved in everything, is the love, the surrounding of love, whether, you know, they, they know it's, it's just a dog, but it's also part of our family. I am a happy pet owner. I do love my pets when I, I get them. It's for life, I take care of them. Didn't give up on her, I'm here with her today. So it's an amazing story as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, an amazing story is right, a miracle story. Uh, more information, acvim.org. Thank you. Thank you.